Hello, welcome back. If you are following me on the sequential order, then you must be realizing that we are dis we are discussing about performance test methodology. So we have already discussed about identifying test environment and setting it up. I have covered into three to four videos about this chapter. Then next chapter we discussed about performance acceptance criteria. Then we design the workload. Then in the last chapter we 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 describe about how to develop test so essentially how to write reusable test to run performance testing all right and finally right now our focus is here right now to execute the test all right so so in this video our goal is to understand test execution process and in this chapter we are going to disc we are going to focus on test execution what are the good practices and what are the uh, what things to be done what things to avoid those are the things that we are going to discuss so first of all the test execution process is a five step process the step one of this test execution phase is validate test environment okay so that's the first step so you need to validate your test environment so so if you remember that in our first step we have created test environment in fourth step we have already created test okay so essentially what you're going to do in this test before you actually execute the test and give it a result you need to validate test environment and then the next step would be to validate if the test whatever we, we, we develop in the last chapter if those tests are running fine or not okay and then we execute the test so run test and this test whatever we are running this is what what we are going to use to report for the performance result all right and and next step would be to create a baseline and sometimes we need to create baseline so that we can compare with next level or next version of the same software or we can compare from one configuration to another configuration so this is called create baseline and the final step of test execution is to archive the test and test result so this is essentially a five step process and that we need to follow to uh, execute test all right so thank you so much for your time in the next video we are going to discuss in detail about test environment